Hey there guys, Skibby here for Rum Skibby Says Gaming coming to you from Tutorial Land with Tutorial Love. Guys, today we are going to be doing something super original. We are going to be doing a micro iron golem farm. Yes, that's right, a micro look. Does it look like every 5,000 iron golem farms on YouTube? No, it looks completely different. So this iron golem farm is not going to pump out volume like you can imagine but it is different and small so uh i had my buddy will kreplin and i've been kind of uh busting his chops a little bit lately because i'm saying i want to make a tiny iron golem farm i'm not too care i'm not too concerned with the output uh, as long as it looks different than every other iron golem farm and it's smaller So we messed around with my ps4 world today, and we came up with this uh, We ended up messing around with it. We can make it actually smaller. You can make it a 5x5 five five, uh, But then it would only put out like three iron an hour uh, And basically while using the same exact ingredients only adding solid blocks Basically and some half slabs to the mix we can quadruple its output or even more than that and we did. So this version here is going to give you anywhere between 16 and 21 iron ingots an hour, which is, you know, 60% uh, capacity with comparison to one of those big ones. And yeah, so if you want something different, this is the one for you guys. If you are looking for the craziest iron golem farm that you can make on console, I'm going to put a, vid a link to this video here. It's Will Kreplin's video. Uh, and it's pretty much the most nuts iron golem farm that you can create on console It is a really long tutorial and it is very advanced But uh, if you're here looking for something like that go there and uh, yeah, let him know that Skippy says hi And yeah, so I'm gonna thank him as well for helping me with this. Let's get into the build so uh, Let's start off guys uh, for this build. Let's go for you know, it's 624 likes I'm already at two minutes of chapping and uh, 624 likes if you're one of those dudes Let me know in the comments and you can be down like evil fire dragon. He was first Yeah subscribers money Marcus Brantley and Rolf so uh, Yeah, let's start this off guys The first thing you're gonna need to do is make yourself a box this box is going to be 11 long it's going to be five tall and it's going to be five wide. So it's easy five by five by five with 11 long in the middle. Uh, pretty easy start. Now you're going to grab what you need, guys. You're going to need 27 doors, 40 half slabs, two buckets of water, one bucket of lava, one rail, one single glass pane, nine trap doors, at least 10 villagers, uh, one hopper, one hopper minecart, one chest. Just bring yourself a half a stack of glass and like you know, three stacks of blocks. I would bring extra of both of those because I haven't really actually counted them out. Uh, but yeah, so let's jump in. We got our five wide, five tall, 11 long box, very easy. So now let's just go ahead and build up our glass wall on the front here. We're just gonna build it right up like this. Like this, all the way up. We're actually gonna get rid of these guys after. And yeah, so let's go in here. So basically start your thing off with some buckets of water If you're in survival mode, you only need two because you're gonna make a water source, but In a perfect world just put one source in each corner Once you do this now, you know where the center of your farm is your center of your farm is right here So uh, let's for argument's sake just mark it off so we know what to do when we get under and let's go under and start doing some stuff. So now that we're under here, we just want to have a nice, easy, efficient, quick pickup. This is something that's going to minimize the size and the ingredients you need. So let's go like this. Just go ahead and put a hopper right here. This hopper is going to go down to another hopper, but you could do it just by crouch placing and shooting it into this hopper. Perfect. Jump in the sky. Get rid of this guy. Grab yourself that one rail I was talking about. Just aim it at the roof here, and it'll go down right here. Grab yourself a hopper minecart. Put your hopper minecart right there, and then put your chest under it. You have just successfully completed your pickup point. Very easy, very efficient, look how tiny. No messing around. Anything that goes into this thing here, you'll find, is gonna find its way out. Perfect, so now what we wanna do is create a small lava blade. So. Uh, we also took into account pocket edition dudes, so you're about to get mind blown with how to do this on pocket So first things first put a single glass pane right in the middle one up 
get rid of that looks good to me so now what you're going to do is grab trap doors on console edition they don't need to be iron uh, but i'm pretty sure on pocket edition that wooden trap doors might burn but either way if you if they do burn on pocket edition just use iron trap doors but do this grab two blocks right here just out like this right here two blocks out like this right there and then just go the other other side and do this right here bang once we've done this we can get rid of these placeholder blocks and grab yourself one bucket of lava and you now have a lava blade this lava blade look at that that is efficient perfect and efficient so uh yeah an iron golem will definitely spawn in there and do do die dropping his loot into the bottom so now what we're gonna do here is grab some half slabs so because actually you know what since we're here we got doors we got everything so let's put our doors guys what you do is line the very top with solid blocks skip two blocks down put another line of solid blocks right there let's go over here same thing up on the top same thing now grab your doors and this is one thing too that i learned from him as well is put your doors face forward like this and then once once you do that open all the doors because if you open all the doors basically something in the game will trigger a zombie siege when there's this many villagers here and what will happen is even if zombies do spawn here they won't be able to do nothing so if they were the other way the zombies could break the door ruining your farm so let's go over to the other side do the same thing make sure you put them on the outer face and then open all the doors looking good looking good so now that we've done this we're feeling pretty good about ourselves right let's grab these half slabs because this is basically where the efficiency came into play we're going to add a second level so the problem with adding a second level is that iron golems need a four high space to spawn so if we were to do that you know we'd give them four spots and then what we would do is put a solid it wouldn't work that way so what we're going to do is go ahead and put as you can see on this side we're going to use half slabs because these half slabs are going to be on the top of the second highest block so these half slabs allow it so that iron golems can spawn down here their heads are going to be sticking out of this floor but it won't stop them from spawning giving us two layers when technically uh, we may not necessarily get two layers and this is going to be your 40 half slabs all the way down and then we're gonna skip the last two leave the last two because we need the iron golems to fall once we've done this we also have to do a little bit more love with these ha with these trap doors right here because basically what we want to do is we want to go ahead and throw a row of blocks right here grab ourselves a bucket of water and put it here so that anything that spawns there will fall all the way down to the end the only challenge is we are leaving some open blocks because basically iron golems will spawn on these half slabs right we've established it but they will definitely spawn here even if there is glass right here the, this transparent block is not seen the same way that this half slab right here is not seen as a half slab so that said what we are going to do is take these trap doors put these trap doors on the front just like this once we do this open them and now what happens is if an iron golem does spawn here it will not be so it won't be this far out it will be on this side meaning that part of it's going to hit the water so even if an iron golem does spawn in this glass it's going to hit the water and roll out so that's pretty good pretty efficient and yeah let's go over here i keep looking never watch never watch a pot <laughs> or it's never gonna boil uh testing these took a fair amount of time and uh i just sat there looking at it but what we're gonna do here now is let's just go ahead and add our villager pods make sure you make the floor of your villager pod out of glass if this block right here is solid guess what an iron golem will be able to spawn there so make it out of glass so he can't spawn there do this and then get your villagers in there in survival mode just walk them up throw them in a mine cart beat them up i don't know do whatever you got to do but get the villagers in there you're gonna need a minimum of five on each side uh one 
to oh look what happened so I guess we're gonna be uh, I guess we're gonna be using Skippy secret villager removal method uh, yeah so Skippy secret villager removal method is uh, just this uh, yeah I'm gonna free up some spawn egg time here <laughs> oh hey and uh, yeah let's uh, let's just go ahead and do the same thing over here because I made too many villagers like I attempted villager farms over here and over there the other thing you guys got to keep in mind is villager breeders are broken on console edition 100% there is a bug in the game that doesn't allow villagers to hold the right amount of stuff in their inventory in order to breed uh, that said so you I'm hoping you have 10 villagers kicking around your world right now uh, two, three, four, five, and again, you can add more and it will increase productivity. However, it does not really increase it that much. It's not like, uh, oh my god, I need to have 10 villagers in each side. It really doesn't effectively double it in that sense. Uh, it does increase, but it will not increase it that greatly. So, two, three, four, hey, let's just put this many in there. Perfect, cover them up. And bang, you have a working micro iron golem farm. That easy, that speezy. Man, super cool. Guys, I really just wanted to have a different iron golem farm. Every single one. It's amazing. If you type iron golem farm on YouTube, you literally see thousands of videos of the same exact iron golem farm. Which works good, but if you want to show off and have bragging rights, this is your way to do it. Look at that. Much cooler, much more compact to fit in your base. And I would say that it operates at about... 40% of a, of a regular iron golem farm, the two level ones you see, uh, with the doors around them. And yeah, there you go guys, don't forget to smash the like before you go, don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for uh, some more unique and cool tutorials. Thanks again to Will Kreplin for helping me out, and uh, don't forget if you want a really crazy iron golem farm, hit the description and uh, check it out and get your tutorial shoes on and get the pause button ready. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.